greetings. Welcome to the Kenyan teacher once again. In this video, we look at 2014 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2, question number 6, that tested on aluminium metal. The same question, word by word, was repeated in 2016, KCSE Chemistry Paper 2, question number 5. Welcome and be with us till the end of the video. So, the diagram below represents a setup of an electrolytic cell that can be used in the production of aluminium metal. So here is our electrolytic cell. We have our cathode being the inner lining and then we have anode up here. And then on the far right we have a tap through which molten aluminium leaves. So the first question we have been asked that on the diagram label the anode for one mark and this is very simple to do the anode is any of these three electrodes that are dipped into the electrolyte so the examiner expected you to just label any one of them for one mark so we have already answered the question part a which demanded that we label the anode on the diagram. So moving on to part B, write the equation for the reaction at anode. So we know that our electrolyte is actually molten aluminum oxide. Now being molten, in the electrolyte we have two types of ions and there are only two types because we are using a molten substance this is what we normally call binary electrolyte so in the electrolyte we will have only aluminium ions and oxide ions so when we are asked the equation at anode we shall actually charge the oxide ion. So the equation therefore becomes oxide ions in liquid state will lose some electrons to give us oxygen gas. We balance this by 2 here and then it means number of moles of electrons to be lost will be 4. This is good enough for one mark. To the next question we are asked to give a reason why the electrolyte process is not carried out below 950 degrees Celsius. So here, I want to remind our students that the melting point of the mixture of cryolite and aluminum oxide is about 800 degrees Celsius. So what does it mean? It means that anything below around 950 here, the mixture will not be in liquid state and therefore conduction of current will not be possible. So the expected answer here would be that at 950 or anything below 950, uh, the aluminum oxide would be in solid state. So at temperatures below 950, aluminum oxide, aluminum oxide would be, would be in solid state. And then what happens? Hence, the ions, the ions will not be mobile to conduct electric current. That would be 
the expected answer for that part again for one mark. To the next question, give a reason why the production of aluminium is not carried out using reduction process. And here the answer is as easy as common, common reducing agents, common reducing agents, and here we do use mainly carbon. Carbon, as we know, is below aluminium in the reactivity series. So it cannot reduce aluminium oxide. That was the answer or the expected answer for the question that asks the reason as to why we obtain aluminium via electrolytic means and not by reduction. To the next question, give two reasons why only aluminium ions are discharged. So remember, in our electrolyte, we have a mixture of cryolite and aluminium oxide. So why do we only discharge aluminium ions? Two reasons here. One, aluminium ions are in higher concentration. They are in higher concentration than sodium ions are in the cryolite. Because cryolite introduces sodium ions in our electrolyte. The second reason why we discharge aluminium ions is that aluminium ions are lower they are lower than sodium ions in the electrochemical series. So those who've done electrochemistry, we know that there are three factors that affect what we call preferential discharge of ions. One being position of ion in the electrochemical series and here we said the higher the metal ion in the series, the more difficult it is to be discharged. Second factor we look at is concentration, which has come out very clearly in our reason number one. And then we also have a third factor that we call nature of electrode. Now to the next question. Two properties of duralumin that make it suitable for use in aircraft industry. So here we have quite a number. Duralumin is lighter, and as you give your answer here, we expected it, we expected your answers to be comparative. So duralumin is lighter, duralumin is stronger, duralumin is cheaper. And duralumin could also be tougher compared to pure aluminium. And the last question came from environmental effects of extraction of metals. So we asked you to name two environmental effects caused by extraction of aluminium. So here, just for like for any other metal, we have galleys leading to land degradation. So this we get when we extract aluminum. We also have carbon dioxide produced, which causes global warming. You are asked only two, so you select those, but there are others many of them, including noise pollution, including smoke pollution, and many others. We have come to the end of that section, 2014 to 2016 chemistry paper 2, in which aluminum metal was tested. 
keep it the Kenyan teacher.